All right, folks, welcome back to the Marshall Football Walk on Dynasty. Today we're taking on the South Alabama Jaguars. They're a B minus overall, but we're being projected to win, which is interesting. They are an 81 overall. We are 67 overall, so let's go ahead and get into this. See what we got. They got a few injuries, middle linebacker and free safety, and their middle linebacker is pretty solid, so sucks to suck, I guess. Quarterback's pretty solid. Running back will probably give us fits. Receiving core is pretty mid. Solid start to the game. That's what we want to do is run and run, run the ball right down their throat. Ethan Riley is going to get us started. Good little drag route. Keep it simple, stupid. That's the way to win. Okay, here we go. Joe Von Austin gets us close. We're not going to get it, though. Going to go ahead and go for it. Probably a stupid decision, but uh, yeah. Champy, quick little dump off. That was our first read, and it was the right one. Jason Sanchez, slant route, easy money, easy work. Keep it moving, fellas. Vince Randall, uh, we went backwards there. No. Third and inches, good stuff. This has been a very methodical drive. Jason Sanchez, that was a busted play, but we'll take it. And Todd Daniel is going to get in for a touchdown. Did you see that lane? You could have drove a freaking semi through it. And Todd Daniel, backup fullback, get him in on a few formations. This is a walk-on. This dude has the athletic ability of a snail and just dominated. And they try to run a speed option, and Pat Williams shuts that down. Eli Ganey, you are no Eli Manning. Strip yourself of that name. Number 17. Going with this screen and we get laid out. We have been getting eight up by these screens the last few weeks. Going with a speed option, not ideal. Stanford Chase will get him. Marcus Hopkins got punked. Runs it outside. Stupid decision by Keyshawn Woodyard. He runs into Greg Lewis. I'll be honest, Greg Lewis? Where did he come from? They go for it, don't get the first down, time to punt the football. Jerry Turner, probably could have took that one outside. God, that was awful. I just wanted to make sure I wasn't tripping, there was nothing open there. Oh, God. Jeez Louise, A.J. Phillips torches us. We send a blitz. Everybody gets just annihilated on that play. That was horrific. Oh, that was bad. Granted, that was probably just... Uh, I'm, I'm at a loss for words. We're really shutting down on offense here. We cannot win games if we're not producing on offense. Just again, piss poor tackling. Can anybody do any? No, we're going to fall. We are going to fall on our face. Can't stop the run. Never will be able to get it out of the history books. Um, that's all you have to do to beat us. And that's why they're pushing our shit in right now. Vince Randall wide open. He has been quiet this year. 20 yards. That'll help the freaking war efforts. Carlos Jackson, a low ball. Really didn't give him a chance to fight any for anything, but we'll take the first down. Right over the top to Vince Randall, Seth Jones. That was a sketchy throw, but he popped it right over the top. And Jampy is going to walk in, get hit late. That's another man that should be in prison. Because Jampy is an upstanding citizen. He gets the $50 bonus on Vice City every time. Touchdown, let's go.
a dip in the hooch. Huh. Got him to a third down. I mean, it's kind of academic. Uh, yeah. They didn't even have to run the ball. And he runs into a wall. They tricked us on that play action, but he did not have enough time. Stanford Chase with the sack. Here we go. This is great. Bad thing is our D-line's just getting man. And yeah, I'm in just whatever this is. I don't care if they pass the ball. I truly do not. That guy's open. I don't give a rat's ass that he's open. We're going to get... And look at us just getting bullied out there on the edge. D-line is actually a good defensive line, but they cannot. They're getting bullied out there. Plain and simple, they're getting manhandled. He's ready to kick it away. He'll return it from the six. Jerry Turner, holy moly, this man has got some quick feet. Jerry Turner just running with the horses and was just galloping. And essentially at this point, I'm running all this clock out because if they get the ball back, they're going to score instantly. So we're going to try to save the defense on this one. Seth Jones is just too good. Just too athletic. Oh no, Seth Jones is down. Not right now. Dom Wilson is going to fight his way in for a four-yard touchdown. He is one of the three things in life that's guaranteed. Death taxes and a Dom Wilson little Debbie touchdown. He's got to get that sponsorship in. The NIL money is just too good to pass up. We get pressure, down he goes, they're going to have to waste a timeout. For the love of God, Marcus, turn around and pay attention to what's going on in the game. Great coverage all the way. And then just... <sighs> the only thing positive here is this field goal kicker has no leg as far as I'm aware. Kicks away. And yeah, he misses it. Turner is just going to do this. If we had one block, we were taking that to the hizzy. Jeez Louise, Jerry Turner. Going with a speed option, for the love of God. Somebody, make a goddamn tackle. I, I'm just, I'm, I'm losing patience at this point. This man is a white running back. This man literally just came off of a wheat field running his tractor and just, I mean, come on. What are we doing out here? Good tackle by Rayshon Lewis. We finally get a nice one-on-one. -on -one. And we get pressure and he's going to, oh, he, oh, what? Yeah, we're definitely going to decline that. And he shanked it again. This kicker. Jones is hurt with a thumb. He might be back in the fourth quarter. So Lauren Davis is going to have to carry us for a little while. Lauren Davis. Good stuff. Jampy will get us another first down. I'm trying to keep the ball out of the air because Lauren Davis will probably come out here and throw it to Timbuk too. Ethan Riley had to go back for it, but we get a first down. Jampy's going to get great blocking. Almost took that one in. Lauren Davis walks down Main Street for a six-yard touchdown. You know, he took the, the benching pretty well and takes it in for a touchdown. Not much more you can ask for there. Good tackle. Scotty Watkins with a TFL. First time today we've actually got back there. And they try to run a read option, and I read it correctly. You know, I suck at the game, but I just made a good user read there, so the game needs to reward me, and it did. Oh, God, Marcus Hopkins, you have been playing terrible today. Jeez Louise, guys. Sometimes the negative reinforcement just has to happen. Sometimes you just got to be told that you're garbage, and that really ups your game because 
It's been a horrible day defensively. And he's going to run in for a little prissy-ass touchdown. Eli Ganey, what a name by this douchebag. And an overthrow. Carlos Jackson was wide open. That's the issue with his throw power right there. And we get sacked. We had guys open, but our O-line leaves Seth Jones to die on that play. To be honest, I might as well just simulate this whole defensive series because we know they're going in for a touchdown here. Uh, yeah, what a, I mean, give me a break, AJ Phillips. Why don't you actually get a name and stop having initials? Going with the speed option, we get blocked by the fullback. Five yard touchdown, time to throw an interception. Okay, Jovan Austin, nice work on the outside. Jampy, good stuff. You know, some people may say burn your timeouts, you know, try to salvage it, but uh, I'm not going to do that. F*** this. How about that? <laughs> and we're just going to kneel the ball out. This team doesn't even deserve to come out here and try with 21 seconds. Um, and quite honestly, I've had enough of them today. I've had enough and I'm uh, pretty pissed off. Stats on the day. Lauren Davis, one for one. Seth Jones, 13 of 20 for 128 yards. Jampy had a really good day, 14 for 92, 6.5 average, one touchdown. Lauren Davis got himself a touchdown. Dom Wilson and Todd Daniel, both fullbacks getting in the end zone as well. Stephen Wise, Vince Randall got involved, but again, it was a slow passing day. Not much to go on here. And tackle leader is going to be Donald Harvey, our cornerback. Lee Miller's going to get two TFL. Stanford Chase will get two sacks. Scotty Watkins, Pat Williams, Greg Lewis, and Donald Harvey all get TFLs. We allowed A.J. Phillips an 80 overall power back to run for 231 yards. He might as well have broke the school record at that point. Coach, did you see Lauren Davis' mother has been going berserk on Twitter and essentially saying he might transfer after this season? Yeah, I saw that. And I have made it clear to Lauren multiple times since he got benched that he's still a member of this team. He's still going to be needed, as you guys just saw in this last game. He had to come in. He had to help the team. He had to run the football, get us crucial first downs, and we didn't end up winning. So really, I need that to shut her mouth. He's a free human. He can transfer wherever he pleases after this season if that is something he wishes to do. Um, but for her to sit on Twitter all day complaining is not going to get anything done. We got enough on our plate with non-tackling and letting running backs run for 300 yards. So we're going to have to get some basics figured out before we worry about her son. Uh, like I said, Lauren's a good kid, uh, good teammate, but his mom can maybe put the crack pipe down and get off of Twitter. That's all I got to say. Uh, we got a lot to work on right now. All right, so we just signed some Juco athletes, which is kind of what we've been fueling our team with. We got Jamarcus Rushing, a white man that looks like he's a lumberjack or something named Jamarcus. We're going to have to change his name, but he's from Florida, two-star athlete, 89 speed, 92 XL. Got some decent catching. Actually could play quarterback too, 80 throw power, 84 accuracy. I don't know. He could play running back though too, 88 juke move. 85 spin, stiff arm 90, but he could play corner. This man can play anything. I'm going to need help with this one. Six foot four, 232 pounds, 89 speed, 91 XL, decent catching. So I guess Mr. Robert Lee is going to be a receiver. I think that's really the only place he slots in. All right, so that'll do it for South Alabama. I'm really tired of playing those guys. They play us tough every time. Next up, we got Georgia State. They're one and three. They're going to be a B minus as well. We got quite a few prospects coming in. By quite a few, I mean four. They've been losing games, but they've been competitive. So it's not necessarily that they suck, but that will do it 
for this episode. I am in a uh, feisty mood, I suppose. Everybody go eat some animal crackers in honor of my psychotic breakdown that's soon to come. And I'll talk to you guys next time.